welcome to my channel. My recent trips to Jakarta aimed at sightseeing and shopping also opened my eyes to how people there eat snakes as it is one of their popular delicacies. A lot of requests have been made by you guys to talk about this and that's why I'm bringing this story to you although I have to warn you that some of the descriptions and images might be too graphic and disturbing to some viewers. Take a look. a traveling and food podcast. I'm coming at this topic from the don't kill precept that all Buddhists are very familiar with and most Buddhists around the world accept as a virtue. I believe taking life is an act of violence committed with callous disregard for the suffering of the victim, in this case an animal. Jakarta is today the largest mega city in Southeast Asia. Snake encounters in Jakarta are becoming very frequent as natural habitats are dwindling as the country urbanizes. Running into a one and a half meter long cobra in their daily lives or encountering a 15 foot python relaxing in the ceiling of a house is an almost commonplace event today. For people of Jakarta. Some people I met there were talking to us about seeing snakes and pythons in car parks and on the busy streets causing traffic jams. Now let's look at the tradition of catching, cooking and eating snake. That's a popular practice in Jakarta. I spoke to Raya, a 42 year old woman who worked at a busy snake restaurant in Jakarta. We cut the head of the snake, that's the first step, she said. A sharp knife will separate the head from the body while both parts will be still moving for a while and that makes the food very fresh and very tasty, she explained. As an investigative journalist, I had to compose myself not to show how shocked I was at the way the cutting off of the head of a living being was explained to me in graphic detail. Then Raya showed me how she peeled the snake skin off the body, chopped the body of the snake into small portions and boiled the little pieces of the snake in steaming hot water. After boiling the pieces of snake, they add vegetables and fry the pieces in burning hot oil. This was personally very hard for me to listen to, let alone watch her demonstrations. It was sinister and disgusting. Take a look. I'm here with Rava um, behind the restaurant where she will be showing us how she cuts a snake. Rava does not want to face the camera because she doesn't believe in um, taking pictures. So I've respected that and we've taken a picture of her working with the snake um, while yes she's cutting the snake and um, I am not taking pictures of the snake that is being cut because I know it's far too distressing to viewers or to anybody to see an animal being cut so I'm not taking those pictures but I'm just showing you how they work um, when they want to kill a snake, cut a snake to cook. Um, what is the word, Rava, what is the word for snake? Ular. 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 Ular is snake. And I must also tell you that I want to ask permission, ask uh, Rava's permission again to find out if we could take a few more pictures. Um, could we take a photograph please, Rava? Yes? Uh, okay, yes. Um, shall we take a couple of photographs? Um, I'm asking Peter as well, my friend. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Peter. Um, so, um, 
I'm watching now as she's cutting. Um, um, thank you, everyone. Um, have a look. Snakes, though, are feared by humans, fear humans very much. Dia showed me around 60 snakes she had caught, and they were all in this massive hopper bucket. To spare them the gruesome fate I just witnessed, I purchased the 60 snakes and released them into the wild. However, at the back of my mind, I knew it was probably futile. It's a futile effort to save them as she would just capture more or capture the very same snakes in a heartbeat. I understand also well that humans are the most vicious and scariest predators of the earth and animals, big or small, dangerous or not, are often sad victims of human cruelty. The destructive forces that drive the evil in the human mind to terrify, destroy, cut open a living being to cook as food while the victim is still breathing is greed and folly that Buddhism warns against so intensely. Humans, even little boys, can be super predators. As you saw in this video, and they Young children can terrify even large animals, huge snakes that themselves incite terror. I've tried giving you a fairly comprehensive picture of the reverberation, the resounding evil effects of human cruel super predators across the lives of animals, to be precise, snakes in this particular video. Snakes who are nervous and believe in their instinctive impulse of self-preservation to slither away from humans, slither away to safety. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye.